Hey everyone, Double Art Angel here and this is the last video in my mini Halloween series of 3 videos and in this one I will show these 4 different examples on how I make ghost effects in a photo manipulation and also ending the tutorial with this week's artwork being ghost riders in the sky and how I made also them. But I think that's enough intro. Let's hop right into the tutorial. Begin with background that I have over here of a cathedral of some sort and we're going to start first type of kind of a sheet ghost first of all we are just going to mask away everything that we don't need so one thing that i almost always do when i make ghost effects are making them transparent but still keeping some of them visible so just by adding opacity to about 60 and then checking where the light sources are we have light source over here and then light source over here and these are also light sources but they are so far away we don't need to take them in consideration anyway this is a or orange kind of light and this is a blue kind of light so first off i will use a exposure layer and bring up the exposure on on this ghost asset that we have and then I'm going to simply just mask away, bring back the mask where the light would hit, give a little more of it to these wrinkles also, but something like that. Next up we are using two hue and saturation layers and colorize them both. And the first one will be this yellow almost, so try to match it as close as possible to these light sources over here and we see in this bar over here now this looks very weird so we are going to blend if options and under laying layer we are taking away from the black pressing these dials we break them apart and then we bring the first one over the middle part and the second one a little away so we bring back the background then i am going also to take away from the current layer so that we get the white also a little more transparent after this i am going to hide away that mask and bring it back only on on this side with round and soft brush low pressure add back that light on this side then i'm going to do the same thing the second light source so i'm doing that now by copying the layer style from the first hue and saturation we add to the second one and then bring back the mask on the side that the light source is on we are bringing this underneath the exposure layer and play around with the blend if on the exposure layer we're taking away underlying layer again and also from the current layer after this we can add a shadow over here so we see that we have something flying around and that i'm gonna do with the brightness layer now last up i will bring up the exposure a little on this side where we have the can the second way we are using this other stock picture that I have also from a ghost and this is the easiest way to make a ghost effect. When you have a picture that is in black and white you can use the screen modes almost right away. Either you choose the linear light, linear dodge over the screen. After that in the blend if options in the current layer taking away from the black we are getting this faded in kind of effect to it and then we add a gradient layer above it matching with the candle lights that we had over there take the selection then select inverse and mask away everything else so we have this over here and now i am going to change so that the colors match so we need blue kind of color blending in better from underlying layer we are taking away from the black to bring bring back some of the shadow and then from the current layer we are bringing back some of the white now my third option will be if you have an asset that has a light background or a white background like this one you can use divide to give it this kind of 
spooky glow and then by adding an exposure layer to this one we are bringing up the glow and playing around with the offset and gammas you're then getting it to glow like this at last up we are just going to blend it and take away from the current layer from from the white so we get it blended in like so and there is a glowing type of spirit or ghost next technique that i have is if we are using a normal photograph and i have this thumb rule that i think that white dressed women would be the best type of ghost so let's uh, select her and mask her away when we have her masked we are adding a solid color on above her and the color range that i often use in my ghost effects are from blue to cyan and maybe a little green and maybe a little purple depending on but here we are going with a pretty cold type of color like a very pale blue clip it to her and then we are bringing with the blend if option back the blacks but not too much both in the current and after that we are making glow overlay and now i am going to mask away that part and with a soft round brush we are bringing back the edges of this woman after I have blend, blended her dress so that it's see through and we have added this glow to her with the right adjustment layer now I'm going to copy this layer hide it for now and then I am going to mask away her skin part roughly and then we are bringing back this layer that we had over here and I'm gonna select the object and by holding the control key and pressing I we are inverting and now we have this kind of I don't know supernatural I guess it is in the blending options we can bring back now from the blacks like so and then I am giving a hue and saturation to this one checking this hair of hers and making it match with the rest something like that and then we have the last part and that's mask away the dress so and then you have that one okay so these are four of my more simple ways of making ghost appearances in different kind of situations if you have an asset with dark color or light color vice versa however now i am going to show you guys how i bash together ghost spirits and more exact ghost riders in the sky so let's do that i will start by making the actual composition in my case the ghosts will be in the sky in the sky so i will start off simply by using this awesome thunder sky and just change it a little and after this i will fix the composition but we will hop right into the ghost effects let's start off with these four riders that i will make ghostly like and the first thing i'm going to do is adding a solid color and i'm gonna go with the color palette of some kind of cyan little to the green side and we are just simply going to add over this one and in the blending options i am taking away from the underlying layer so we get back the highlights of the actual picture and then in the blend mode i am just gonna go for color that's the first step now i'm doing this in a smart object not in the actual composition this is because we will need to save all the effects that we are making over here and then in this composition we are also going to add more effects anyway let's hop back to this one and next thing i am going to do is add on the whole groove an outer glow and this outer glow is going to be the same color that we just added above everything after this we are adding a second layer that is clipped to this one and with a soft brush I am gonna pick that same color by holding Alt key and in this layer I'm just gonna simply paint over the faces of the riders roughly so we are taking away the human 
part of the riders like so and also little horses so next up we are making a new layer and it's not gonna be clipped to this layer and now I am going to add some skeletons in this composition so what I'm doing next is using these skeleton assets from Envato elements that I have to fill in all these riders. I'm mainly gonna focus now just on the skull. After that we are focusing on the rest. However, I'm also taking in consideration the shoulders of the skeletons so that we get them aligned with this rider so that it fits. Now to give a sense of what I'm doing I'm just gonna add this in a group for now and just show when I'm blending if these right dragging from the current layer and from the underlying layer we're getting this ghost type of feel and uh, then I'm using uh, linear light so that's what we are going for anyway I will do this off camera so be right back so when we fill the face of all these riders I've added some skeletons both for the horses and for the riders. With the help of a mask I brought them forth only on certain places and the group that I'm working in is set on linear light so that they show through. So this is the basics of building the actual asset and when we are done with this and we jump back to the composition and now we have them over here and in this stage i have added also copies underneath that are one is multiply one is screen and i'm gonna add one more that i am gonna keep as stream but we are making it a little bigger like so i'm adding it behind and just going to adjust it so that it's behind these guys this layer is going to be caution blurred now we get a little movement to this one also i am going to drag down the opacity of the whole comb and then we have this hue so we are changing the hue to one that is more fitable for this composition now in this composition we are gonna add all of this into one group and then we are masking this group and inverting the mask so that it will disappear and now in my case these are riders in the sky so I have these cloud shaped brushes that I will use now to bring forth these riders from the clouds now the top part of these guys I will make sure that I am showing totally because horse head and uh, cowboy head is one of the most important parts in this type of artwork now after this I will blend this picture together next up I am going to add shadow and highlight well mostly highlight not that much shadow because it's a spirit so it's see-through and because it's transparent it means that it won't give out shadow in the same way but this is basically the tutorial on making spirits look more let's call it realistic anyway now i will finish this artwork and i catch you in the outro Three, two, one.
So everyone, thank you again for watching this video to the end. I hope this tutorial will be to some help, if not at least until next Halloween. Anyway, this was the last video of the Halloween series and next week we will jump into a speed art video where I make these two huge robots from Japan fighting each other. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, if you guys like this video and learned something, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell for future notifications for more videos to come. And if you would like to see my art also, you can find me on Instagram as double underscore art angel or on Deviant Art as double archangel. Anyway, I'm double art angel and I catch you in the next one.